Hi everyone, this is Garrison coming to you from Iron Kingdoms at War and I am going to give you another figure feature. This week I'm going to show you some units I recently finished painting. They are all Rulik units and uh, we're going to start with the uh, Grunbeck Gunners, all right, which these are light jacks. Now uh, basically I'm working on a, a Rulik army. I uh, don't have enough really to take a Rulik army yet, but I do have the Hammerfall High Shields and the rest of these guys. Um, so in the meantime, my high shields can jack marshal um, the, so these light jacks, so I'm going to be using these as part of merc support for a larger army. And uh, you can see uh, the gunners are neat little models. I just love the look at these of these squat little guys. Uh, they look almost like they could be stepped on by an ironclad or something bigger. <laughs> so that's kind of they just have this humorous uh, walking gun appearance to them. But they're a lot of fun to paint. Um, I basically did a really simple like hammerfall khaki scheme on them, and uh, just act added a little uh, kind of insignia on the side, some sort of like um, you know unit insignia that, rather than rulic language. That was kind of the idea. Um, and I like the way the metals and the tans came out in general and you can also see around the eye which is the way this is commonly painted I painted a little bit of the yellow glow outside on the rim of his um, head just to kind of give that glow effect to it but uh, yeah I like the way the these guys came out as far as these guys in the game uh, they're gonna be a lot of fun to play uh, as you might know uh, these are the kind of jack that if you give them one focus they basically boost everything kind of like the uh, Signar Charger which is really nice. All right, so that's a powerful attack bonus that they have. All right, so that's really nice. Um, and they have a nice, uh, this ranged attack, and I'm really going to use them as just uh, some heavy support for my Hammerfall High Shields. Over here we have the Ruluk Artillery. Uh, when I saw these guys announced many months ago on uh, Privateer Press's website, I was like, so excited. And of course, we all get to uh, finally have the question answered. What does a female dwarf look like? So there she is. I call her red because I gave her this really red red hair. Um, and uh, these guys were a lot of fun to paint up. And what I did for a paint scheme was basically Hammerfall um, khaki with uh, a little Kador, uh, sorry Thornwood green mixed in. So like kind of a green and tan kind of standard army look to them. And uh, I also modeled some sandbags on the back of this mortar right in the back there to uh, kind of be anchors for the recoil. And uh, yeah, so this has a very nice long range attack with an area of effect um, blast, very similar to the uh, Kador mortar, but uh, now you can field this with multiple armies. Uh, in fact, I might even take it with my Kador armor, army as a second mortar, which would be kind of nice. This guy's pose carrying an artillery shell. He's a lot of fun to paint. Um, and of course, these guys if in base contact give a bonus, so including a range finding bonus to the uh, the mortar piece itself. All right, so you've basically got the loader and the artillerist, uh, red as I call her, and you've got uh, what looks like an officer. All right, so that's kind of the idea, kind of command the attack. So um, one little change I made is I decided to give red, as I call her, the, the dwarf female firing the uh, mortar. I gave her a sword that I had left over, all right, rather than the uh, standard axe that uh, the rest of these guys carry. All right, so there's there's the axe that they, they carry. I decided to give her a sword. So um, a lot of fun to paint, and hopefully you like the result. This is Garrison from Iron Games at War signing off, and uh, keep your eyes open for another figure feature. Happy Wargaming, everybody.